I arrived here in 1982 uh, in the research team of Gerard Berry and Gerard Boudol in Ria building with still one year to go. Uh, and then we started working in what was to become concurrency theory and formal models of computation for parallelism and uh, most likely synchronous language with what was to become uh, the Estrel language that became quite famous. And so we had the feeling at this time that this was new topics, new mathematic objects that were to represent uh, programming language, programming realities, and uh, programming uh, in a new fashion. And that was very, very exciting. The fields of uh, computer science, uh, of uh, concurrency theory, gave rise with uh, automatic verification, model checking, all sorts of algorithmic methods that now are a trend to study concurrent programs that gave rise to a number of Turing award prizes like Amir Pnueli and Moon Clark, and people who got pretty famous for working on these topics. Now, I would say the new trends that happened in the 30 past years is that those theoretical models that were developed maybe before reality uh, were caught up by real machines and uh, computer design, which now is producing more parallel architectures at the microscopic and uh, macro level uh, altogether. If I was to wish that uh, some very, very broad advances would take place now in the next years to come, I would think it would be that the applied mathematicians that work at INRIA, which are very often taking problems and issues from the real world, from physical realities in a broad sense, would uh, take into consideration that the computer scientists that also work at INRIA are working on topics such as making machines and language amenable to the efficient parallel computation of the same type of models and that there would be a better bridge that takes place in between what we see in uh, applied mathematics and parallel computation in application on the one hand and parallel architectures and formalism for parallel computing on the other hand. <laughs>